I've read a story come to my mind not long ago of something on that order it's in a great city here in this nation and New York and it was on Christmas Eve and there was a poor family a little daddy he had TB and, he was, and his wife had TB they'd been underprivileged and he he's a kind of He's weakly, and so nobody would hire him. He had no education, and he, he, people didn't want him. He just as an outcast, he become a tramp. Just you know what a tramp is. Just go by and, and pick up something, paddle it, and get what they can, what little uh, royalty they make on it to try to live by. Just a, like a peddler or something on the street. Go buy some pins and needles and thimbles and whatever they can and, and take it and, and maybe buy it for a uh, penny a pack and sell them for a nickel and make four cents on the pack and maybe in a run of a day's death that's a great commission but just think all he'd sell in a day maybe make 20, 30 cents a day and he had a fan and uh, the little wife being weakly she she died and it was coming Christmas time and the little girl she had developed from malnutrition not having the right food and things uh, she took TB also and she had a little fella, about eight, nine years old, ten, and she had never had a doll for Christmas. And that's what she wanted for a gift, was a doll. And uh, the father, not able to give her medical attention and so forth, and he, he seen the little girl was going fast, and he tried his best to, 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 to get enough money together to get her a doll for Christmas. If he could just get enough to buy her, her little doll. And so the uh, Christmas time was coming on. The bad weather set in. The little girl developed some kind of pneumonia. And, and she died just a few weeks before Christmas. And the father, of course, broken hearted, went to his little tin can and got the money out. And he thought of his little girl and she wanted a doll like a little girl see it's a little mother coming on you notice how a little girl she goes to the doll because she's that's her nature she's a she's a coming mother she will be mother someday she lives and everything in our nature that's she's a little girl likes a little doll she wants to take care of her because after all she she's a little uh potentially a, a, a little mother and she wanted a little doll she never had one daddy had, saved everything he could to, to get her a little doll and so she died and the father kind of had a, a lapse of mind his wife had been taking his little girl and his mind kind of got to a place that he still he, he'd go to bed every night and talk to this little girl though she was been buried but he thought he, he was talking to her and tell her now honey it won't be long daddy's gonna get you this dolly for Christmas and, and Daddy's promised you the dolly, and I, I'm, I'm going to get it. By me, Christmas arrived. And of course, you know how it is. The rich had their their big parties, and the candles burning, and the great high masses in the churches, and talking about Jesus, and, and so forth. The churches were going through all kind of uh, routines of mass, and singing, and carols, and everything little did they know what was going on back in the alley behind all this this uh little fellow back there he got beside himself he wanted that little girl to have that doll so back because she had begged so for this little doll so he went out and he bought her a little rag doll a little uh little thing probably about 30 cents a little dirty something get bought down on the side of the street and it was a real cold night and uh, the blizzard winds are blowing snow falling hard there in new york right on the coast the streets filling up and the people in their great uh, big limousine cars and drunken parties out drinking the celebration of the birth of christ and of these things that we speak of tonight trying to think that that's the right way to do it is to drink off their old sorrows and things and that's that's the way to do it all of them Stand the story of the day, and a woman talked about what two girls met. They won't know what they got for their daddy. And one of them said, "Well, he, she got him a carton of certain kind of cigarettes." And the other said, "She got him a fifth of whiskey and a 
and a, and a deck of cards. Now, if that ain't giving a memorial gift for the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's the way it goes, you see, it's just uh, a big bunch of tinsel. It hasn't got Christmas in it at all. And so we find out this little man, he wandered along, and he know in his heart his little girl was gone, but he went and bought the doll anyhow. And he thought, I'll just start walking. I'll find her somewhere. She'll be along the street here, and I'll find her. And he started walking. He, he couldn't fool himself. She wasn't back there in the little shanty and in the little ragged, dirty bed, but uh, she was there. So he he knew, he thought he'd find her on the street. He said, I'll just keep walking. And he was going down through the alleys while they were singing their carols and going on. And going down the alley, packing this little dirty doll, holding it in his coat up to his heart, thinking of his little girl. And finally, a policeman happened to see him. And the policeman had a few drinks himself. And he ran into the alley and grabbed the old man and turned him around. He said, what are you doing? Hang in here. He said, I'm taking this little doll, sir, to my little girl. He said, well, where do you live? And he told him where he lived. He said, well, you're going away from that place. You're drunk. Go back the other way. He said, sir, I'm not drunk. I promised my little girl I'd, I'd get her a gift for Christmas. He said, an appropriate gift for a little girl is a little doll. And he said, let me see it. So he showed him a little dirty light rag doll. He's holding in his, uh, next to his bosom, holding a little doll, is he? So the policeman had drunk himself, uh, shoved him on and started down the old man, went down the alley, and snow falling fast. And, well, the midnight parties broke up. The next morning, the snow had let up. The sun had come out. So they went. All the people from their great gaiety parties just ice sacks on their heads from too much drinking and celebration of the, the birth of Christ. And, and many of them were forced and carrying off from all the going on. But way down in the alley, they found the old man. And when he turned him over, he had a little dog next to his heart. I suppose he took his gift to her. He found her. You know, hey, not here. Hey. He, he, he took the gift. It was an appropriate gift. Hey, God. Merciful. Yet it cost him his death. There's no other way in the world he could have given her the gift. She was buried. Hey, but the only way he could do it would be go like that. Hey, <clears throat> little doll hey. didn't mean too much. I guess a little dirty faced doll. But it, what did he do? It It fulfilled a promise he had made. Amen. No matter what the people thought about it, his dirty hands and a little dirty doll, but it, it fulfilled a promise to his little girl. Amen. Sometimes they look upon the gospel the same thing. They didn't want it when God brought it, but it fulfilled a promise. Amen. That he would give his son. You know what? They left him to die too, just like a tramp on the street. Uh, exactly right. They left him to die like a tramp on the street. And today, they treat him like a tramp on the street. Uh, but he fulfilled what he was supposed to do. He was the gift that God promised to the world. Tonight, let me take him as my statement in my heart. Let me walk in the face of my death or whatever it is I got. I promise my life to him. I want to take it to him. No matter why I have to go, if I have to go through death and I have to be shot, no matter what takes place, I have to be laughed at, called crazy, everything that's communicated from the rest of the Christian churches and so forth, uh, it's a gift of God that I hold in my heart. Amen. Amen. I want to take it to him.